Hi there, I'm currently recovering from knee surgery so there's no flying for me for a while. However, I did a video last year about my free paramotoring app, Stewfly, for Garmin smartwatches. If you missed that, you can watch it by clicking the info thing above or by following the link in the description. At the time though, it was only compatible with a handful of Garmin watches, mostly the Phoenix series, and I had two versions of the app, one for the older models like the Phoenix 3 and one for the newer models like the 5 and the 6. Garmin though have a massive number of smartwatches, around 50 odd different models. And I often get asked in emails, you know, um, can you support this model, can you support that model? Well, I've been able to spend some time over the last couple of weeks rewriting Stewfly. And I can tell you that as of today, there's now one unified version of Stewfly and it's compatible with every Garmin smartwatch available. Not only all the current models, but all the past models as well. And I've added a few cool new features too. Even if you're using Stewfly now, I'd recommend you uninstall it and get the latest unified Stewfly app installed to get the new features. Compatibility wise, basically if you've got a Garmin smartwatch and it supports third party apps, it should work. The easiest way to get it is just go to your mobile phone, go to Garmin Connect mobile app that you've probably got on there, if you not install it. Go to the Connect IQ store and search for Stewfly. It should come up and if it does, your watch is compatible, download it, sync it to your watch, start it up and go play. As always, it's free. A few things to note, some watches don't have a barometric sensor for altitude, so they're going to be a bit less accurate for altitude and vertical speed. Um, also, a few of the watches have really limited resolution, so if they've got like flattened layouts, there's probably not enough space to get the time at the bottom, or the new vertical speed that I'll talk about in a minute, so those won't have that particular thing. So it will work, you just won't get those things on it. Lastly, some of the watches don't actually have a button to call up the menu, um, and I was using that to change the settings, like uh, if you want the units to be in metric. So I've added the ability for you to change all the settings via the Garmin Connect mobile app itself. Um, you do that just by tapping on your watch, then activities and app management, then activities and apps, then just tap on Stewfly settings. Here you can access the same settings you do in the watch with the menu button. Some of you might prefer to use that method even if you've got a watch with the menu button. All the settings are saved, so you probably only need to do this once to get them the way you want them. You'll notice there's one new setting there though, and that's connected with the new feature I've added. Vertical speed is now shown. Right? Uh, this is a feature I've had a lot of requests for over the years. By default, it displays alternating with the time at the bottom of the screen. But if like me, you find that you don't really care what the time is, um, you can use the new setting to just switch vertical speed on all the time. Right now, don't get too excited, vertical speed is not a vario. These watches they only get an updated readout about once a second, so proper sort of vario functionality isn't technically possible with the watches. So what it gives you is your kind of average rate of ascent or descent over the last 10 seconds or so. Here you can see what that looks like playing back a previous flight log on the watch simulator from just after takeoff. You can see it reporting various ascent rates kind of averaged out as a climb out. If it was a descent, you'd see it's a negative number. So I hope you'll find this a useful feature. I think it should be an easy way to get a rough idea of your ascent rate on, on various settings, you know, so say full throttle or trimmers in versus trimmers out or, or trimmers out and speed bar on, that kind of thing. Or just to measure your descent rate when you're gliding down on idle. Let me know in the comments if you find it useful anyway. If you do download the app and find it useful, please leave a rating on the Garmin store, or even better, a review. Uh, they do help others, and they help me to target new features for future updates. As always, if you like this video, please consider subscribing, give it a thumbs up, comment below. Visibility of videos like this, they're at the mercy of the Google algorithm, and as dark and mysterious as that is, these things all help to make the video more findable for others. Well, that's it for now. Uh, until next time, fly safe.